Okay, so in this one, um, I'm just going to start it up, but if you're still going, then keep going. This is a diverging lens and a concave mirror combination. So we're just going to go ahead and draw these. First one is parallel. Parallel focal. Now be careful. Diverging lenses do what to light? Diverge it, right? So diverging lenses diverge light, which means is this beam going to go down through the focal or away from the focal? Away from the focal. So remember with diverging lenses and mirrors, you never go through the <coughs> focal point. You're never going to draw a line through the focal point, always away from it or aimed with it. <coughs> so beam number two, and this is the beam that most people get wrong. You aim this with the focal. But it's just going to go parallel. So it never actually makes it to the focal. It just goes parallel. And then beam three, well this is the one that most people get right, is straight through the center. Okay. Remember for diverging lenses, they will always diverge. The light will always diverge. So we're going to project back. We're going to look for our virtual image. And there's your image right there. Okay, there it is, image number one. Um, all right, so doing the second one, sometimes this throws people for a loop, but here's the thing, when you draw your second image, you are just gonna ignore the first <coughs> lens, pretend like it's not even there. Okay, just imagine <coughs> that I gave you an image right here, it's a certain distance from this mirror, and I asked you to draw it. That's all you do, you do not, you just completely ignore that first one. So let's go ahead and do that. So the concave mirror, usually people are pretty good at the concave mirror, at least <coughs> when it's not inside the focal. So the first one's parallel, <coughs> focal. Parallel focal. Second one is focal. <coughs> We're gonna end up with a small image, aren't we? Focal. Parallel. And then the third one, whoa, what did I do? I just messed up. No erasers. So make sure you don't draw it through the wrong focal length. So <coughs> I drew it through the focal length of the other, th of the, the wrong, the lens. I did that on purpose to show you a common mistake. And you know how I knew? Because I tried to draw the second one and the center one was way, 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 way off. And so I knew, it, knew I did something wrong. And so it's the benefit of having the three lines. If you mess up one, <coughs> you'll know. So the third one line is straight through the center. Okay, so there it is, right <coughs> there. There's my image, that itty bitty guy right there.
Okay. Uh, so obviously, this is a smaller image. It is inverted. Those are easy. What do you guys think? Is this a real or a virtual image? It is actually a real image. Okay? And the way to know this, or the easy way to know this, <coughs> is what happens at the second one? What happens at the one at the end? So what does the last one do? That's how you know what's what. Okay? So the last one is producing a real image here. So even though it's coming from a virtual image, if you think about it, what's going on is this light is diverging, right? But then the mirror is going to converge it back. <coughs> so all the light gets focused down here. It actually produces an image. Um, even though initially it diverges, this focuses it back at this point. OK, smaller inverted real. All right, let's see what we should have gotten mathematically. Actually, let's just measure and see what we got. Getting an H of 0.8. I'm going to go with 0.8. Hopefully, you're in that ballpark. The DI, now I'm going to measure the DI from the mirror just because I know mathematically that's going to be my final result. Uh, I'm going to go with 4.7. Sometimes in the in the problems they'll ask you with respect to something. So they'll say with the mirror or the lens, you just do whatever they're asking about. All right, let's do the math. Why don't you try to do the math? Go ahead and get a head start on me. See if you can solve the math on this on your own. Don't forget for the diverging lenses, they do have a negative focals. Okay, so be careful, do not blindly plug in the DO. <coughs> Look at your picture. On our picture, this distance from here to here is the 1.33, right? So from here to here is 1.33. Therefore, what is the total distance from the mirror? 8.33. So be careful when you do that. The actual DO is 8.33. And again, when you do these, when it's just a, you know, most of your homework is going to be just do it mathematically. Make sure that you, I would encourage you to sketch it out so at least you know, helps you with that, that aspect. Uh, okay, so can't really do this one in my head. What's the DI here? Hopefully it's close to, what did I get? 4.7? Is it close to that? 4.68. This sounds pretty close. 4.68, is that confirmed?
All right, let's do our H's. <coughs> Original <coughs> H was four, right? Yo is four. That's easy. So our first HI is one point three three. Good. <coughs> okay, so for the mirror we'll do the same thing. Again, make sure you use the proper DO. So, what did I get? Point 0.8. What's the actual number? Okay, is that confirmed? Yeah, what's the negative telling us? Upside, Upside down, yeah, it's a negative. <coughs> All right, for magnification, let's just do the beginning and the end. We'll just find the total magnification. So the, that would be uh, H at the end divided by <coughs> H at the beginning. And this turn gave us a very small image, so this should be a very small number. H at the end was negative 748. Oops, point 0.748. And at the beginning was 4. So what's our total magnification? Point 0.19. Confirm. Again, the meaning of negative tells us inverted. That's all confirming our drawing. And then the 0.19 is telling us what? Small. That's also confirmed from our drawing.